Good morning. Our gallery hymn today is number 429. 429, I want to walk as a child of the light. 429. Our gathering hand number 429, I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I want to see the brightness of God. I want to look at Jesus. Clear sun of righteousness shine on my path and show me the way to the Father. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Vincent de Paul, priest and also the patron saint of the Diocese of Richmond. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord, 
Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and the vision. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy, endow the priest, St. Vincent de Paul, with apostolic virtues grant, we pray, that afire with all the same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ezra. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wretchedness, and with cloak and mantle torn, I fell on my knees, stretching out my hands to the Lord my God. I said, My God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you. O oh my God, for our wicked deeds are heaped up above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to the heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, great has been our guilt. And for our wicked deeds, we have been delivered up, we and our kings and priests, to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword, to captivity, to pillage, and to disgrace, as is the case today. And now, but a short time ago, mercy came to us from the Lord our God, who left us a remnant and gave us a stake in his holy place. Thus, our God, has brightened our eyes and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the goodwill of the kings of Persia toward us. Thus, he has given us a new life to raise again the house of our God and restore its ruins, and has granted us a fence in Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed be the God who lives forever. Praise him, you children of Israel, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has also shown you his greatness even there. Blessed be the God who lives forever. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. Blessed be God, for he lives forever. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God, for who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all you praise his majesty. Celebrate days of gladness and give him praise. Blessed be God, for who lives forever. Oh. 
kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Everything from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing from the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. As for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. They set out and went from the village to village, proclaiming the goodness and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. The call of our discipleship is the call of mercy. As Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and continued to enlighten them and give them this mandate, this is mandate is also the same mandate we receive into the ages until now. And today we also remember St. Vincent de Paul, who has dedicated himself towards the works of mercy, establishing orphanages, and concretely receiving the call of our Lord Jesus, especially in our gospel today, to heal the sick, to cure those who are, have ailments, and most especially in feeding the poor and giving homes to the homeless. Vincent de Paul has truly lived in his heart and concretely listen to the very commands of our Lord Jesus. We continually pray also for the Diocese of Richmond. Today we have entrusted to the powerful intercession of St. Vincent de Paul, our diocese. May our diocese also in this aspect live in the same witness of St. Vincent de Paul, to feed the hungry, to give homes to those who are homeless, and most especially, to strengthen the works of mercy. Amen. Our Lord Jesus sent the twelve with the minimum provisions, but with power and authority. Let us pray. More and more, people will collaborate in building the kingdom of God among us. That all members of the church, the clergy, the consecrated people, and the lay faithful may collaborate in the common mission of announcing the gospel of Christ to men and women of today, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. prayers. That missionaries may go forth and serve with the same courage that the Holy Spirit stirred up in the apostles May they speak out with enthusiasm, boldness, apostolic fervor. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. That people may welcome the word of God preached and witnessed to by the ministers of the word. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. That the love of Jesus that we have received may make us speak of him as our beloved and share his love with others. 
we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. That the Blessed Virgin Mary, star of the new evangelization, may help the church to become a home for many peoples who believe in Christ through her missionary activities, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayers. our prayer. For Romney Garcia, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Almighty Father, may your word resound in all the earth by preaching and by modern means of communications. Compelled by your love, may we come to communicate the love of God to the rest of our brothers and sisters. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn will be number 542. 542, I recede the living God. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus said, I am the bread, needed long to give. Brethren, my sacrifice and yours are made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that we, by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For as on this festival of St. Vincent de Paul, you bid your church rejoice and to strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by the words of his preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so the company of angels and the saints will sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of
You are indeed, Holy o Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and offer your resurrection unto you. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Barry our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. To deliver us, Lord, I pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. 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 Go to the sick and the homebound, take the holy sacrament, be celebrated, but also the word of God who suffered, as well as the affection of this parish committee, as for the prayers of those whom you did visit and return. Go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. Renewed by heavenly sacrament, Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your may the Almighty God bless you, the Father. 
the Son, <coughs> and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. We're going to go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 468. 468, the King of Love, my Shepherd is. The King of love, my shepherd is, whose goodness loves me never. I know nothing like if I am his, and he is mine forever. Where of living water flow with joy. 